You want to assign alias or shortcut keys to your AutoCAD macros? Keep watching. Hi, welcome to a new video on AutoCAD customization techniques. To start, type VLISP and press enter. This will bring up AutoCAD Visual Lisp Program Editor. The following line of code is an example of an AutoCAD Lisp template to create an assigned macro shortcut key. Visual Lisp is a programming language hard to learn but very powerful for automating tasks. Some of the standard AutoCAD commands are usually AutoLisp applications. If you want to enhance your productivity in AutoCAD, then you need to use this Lisp routine template. Whenever you're using your Lisp template, always save as to avoid modifying your original Lisp file. This Lisp I'll share is very straightforward. Here you add a description, Lisp name, instructions, and your macro. So let's do it. I'll type CUI and press enter to copy my macro. This AutoCAD macro does a plot preview of a drawing. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it on video descriptions and YouTube card. Edit your macro by first removing CC, second replacing comma for space, finally Put all text in quotation marks. Time to test your new plot preview macro shortcut. I'll type PP and press enter. Awesome. Let's apply an alias or keyboard shortcut to one more AutoCAD macro, so you have a better idea on how to assign shortcut keys to your own macros. In this final example, you use automatic transparency macro, which we released before. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it on video description and YouTube card. So go ahead and apply same steps to assign keyboard shortcut keys to this AutoCAD macro. The only difference would be that you'll replace slash for pulse and a good AutoCAD practice is always typing completed commands names.
Once you're done, save your Lisp routine and close Visual Lisp program. This time, I'll show you how to load your Lisp program within AutoCAD. First, type upload. Second, in the load Lisp files dialog box, select the AutoLisp file you want to load. By the way, AutoLisp provides three files formats for applications. Lisp file, which is a text file that contains AutoLisp program code. Fast file, which is a binary compiled version of a single Lisp program file. And finally, VLX file, which is a compiled set of one or more Lisp files. Now click open and also click Lisp file and drag it to a startup suite. Time to test your new automatic transparency macro shortcut. Type TT and press enter. Awesome! If Lisp routines do not stay loaded in AutoCAD, then use Trusted Bats system variable to add folder with your Lisp routines. If still Lisp files won't load automatically, then use secure load variable and set it to zero. You've been watching to the Lazy Architecture. I wanna thank you and invite you to subscribe to the channel. Until next Tuesday, keep up sharing what you've learned.